the great thing about football is it's one of the only professions where you get to beat the shit out of someone and not get arrested for it. Yeah. There's not very many of those sports, right? <laughs> yeah. And so that's really fun for me. And like, except Memphis, maybe I think you can do it these days, but yeah, I don't think it's like as sanctioned. Yeah, yeah probably not. You yeah. know, that's frowned upon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's frowned, yeah upon. frowned upon, but like in the NFL. So like, I just get to go out there and I get to hit people. I get to have fun. I mean, I'm playing a kid's game, dude, and getting paid a lot of money to do it. So like, I'm going to work my tail off, but I'm going to enjoy it every second that I'm out there. Cause you only get so many reps. There's only so much tread on the tire and you got Tom Brady who can play for 20 years, maybe 21. And then like, you know, but the average, you know, lifespan is like three years. So I'm going to year seven. I'm doing pretty well for myself. So it's like, hey, I'm going to play as long as I can. I'm going to play at a high level as long as I can, but I'm going to have a great time every time I'm out there. It's a bigger business now than it was yeah. 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's significantly more money in it. I mean, you just saw like two quarterbacks just got paid over $100 million with like $70 million. The one guy got guaranteed like $83 million. That's more than my entire contract. Wow. That's wild. That's why I mean, it was hey, Daniel congr- Jones, right? Yeah, good for him. Happy for him. I, yeah. lo- I love it when guys in the NFL get paid because it's really hard to get paid. Wow. And so once, like, I love everybody getting paid. I do not care who they is. If I think they're a good player, if I think they're a bad player, awesome. You got paid. Good. For, you're set for life. Like, just don't squander it, please. What do you mean when you say it's hard for guys to get paid? Well, like, you have to, the NFL is full of, like, every NFL player, college, so you have high school, which is like you have hundreds of thousands of kids playing high school, right? And you just okay. think about like the number, you have millions of kids playing high school ball. You have hundreds of thousands of people playing uh, college football. There's 1,500 NFL players. Like just like the percentage just is so small. And then when you get there, like every team has all Americans in college, Heisman Trophy winners. And it's just like, you have to figure out what you do better than everybody else and how to do, like, how to do that for as long as you can. And that's like kind of what the NFL is like. Surviving the NFL is really hard. Like there's fantastic players and athletes out there that should be in the NFL and aren't, right? Like that happens all the time. It's like a lot of guys don't take advantage of that opportunity. So it's hard to get paid. You have to have the right, you have to take advantage of that opportunity when it's in front of you. Are there any players that come to mind where you're like, man, that player, it just, it didn't pan out or they got, or there was an injury that happened or? One of my favorite football players of all time was Bob Sanders. He's a safety for the Indianapolis Colts. He played for Iowa. Uh, he won defensive MVP one year. But like he just had an assortment of injuries and he would have been in my, he was a first bout Hall of Famer. And then he just had all these injuries that he couldn't stay healthy. And then he played in the pros. Oh yeah. He was with the yeah, D, like NFL MVP for defense. Like amazing football player as a safety, which is really hard to do these days. And he was incredible. And uh, yeah, he had like a back injury, he had leg injury, shoulder injuries, because he hit people so hard and he'd be hurt. And it's just like, instead of being a first bout Hall of Famer, like he'll always be remembered as a really good football player, but like injury kind of took that away from him. And so he could have gotten paid a lot more money too, probably. Uh, That's what's hard. It's like, you have to stay healthy. You have to be in the right situation. You have to make a lot of plays. And you have to get into those. Like what are the, what are the years you kind of get paid on? What are some of those levels? It's like, uh, after most of the time is like, I got paid after year three. Okay. I was on a four year rookie deal. Most of the extensions happen after three years. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, or you can, after year four, you're a free agent is what you're seeing now. Like that's where the real money is. Cause like everyone's bidding on you mm-hmm. and that's where the good stuff is. Um, but yeah, most guys get paid after three. If you're a first round draft pick, like teams have a fifth year right to you. And so those a first round draft picks might not get paid till after year four. Um, but they already got a, you know, first round signing bonus. So like they're doing well for themselves. I see. Football is really hard if you don't love it. Like mm-hmm. it's really, cause like what you put your body through, what you put like the stress levels through, like we put our, like, I know every, like our professions, like when you're out there, you know, for like to perform and like, that's how like people watch you and stuff like that. It's like, there's a stress that comes out because you could make one bad play. And like, that's the only thing everybody on Twitter is yelling at you for and telling you that you're a piece of shit. And so like, there's a, there's a mental stress to it. There's a physical stress to it. Time away from your family. Like I just said, like I, I, my national is my home. I haven't, this is my f- second day back since July 24th. That's so, wa- wow. Do you Don't think there are players it. that would rather get the ball more than win the game? There are certain players that, like, you have to have the mindset that when, like, when you get the ball, like, the more, like, you have to have a mindset, like, I when I get want the-, the ball, dude, it looks fucking scary. Oh, uh, dude, it's not for everybody. Dude, and it is what it is. threw me the ball, dude, I'd throw it back. <laughs> nope. Honestly. Yeah, Hot potato. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, not me. Not me. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, not yeah. me. Dude, I'd do a timeout. Yeah, I, I feel like you just toss a ball out of bounds. Like, no, nah, I <laughs> slip, coach, my bad. Just drop it. Ah, I'm good. There might be some guys that are like more like stat hungry, maybe, but they're not on our team. I've never really been with a guy that was like that, which has been awesome. Um, but like, and there's, there's guys who have contracts where like, Hey, if I get 40 catches this season, I get a bonus. Right. Like we had a guy who, um, we had a guy who he, he was a backup, right. But he re-signed cause his rookie deal was over and he had an incentive in there that was, if he got over, 
he had to break his receiving yards from last year and he only had like 150 receiving yards, but he doesn't play a lot on offense. He's, uh. he's a special teams guy. And, and by like week five, he broke it. And it was amazing because he got, he got like a multiple hundred thousand dollar bonus because of it. And so like, yeah, like there is a selfishness to it because who doesn't want to get paid an extra $250,000 right. or something like that, whatever it was, I'm not entirely sure, but like, that's awesome. Like good for you. And like, I'm encouraging like, Hey, Jimmy, throw him the ball, Brock, toss that tray, yeah. throw that guy the ball. So it's just like, that's pretty fun. Like, so like when it is like, so there's, there's selflessness, but there's also a selfishness to it to an extent. Right. But I'm luckily to be on a part of a team that, hey, like Debo's a superstar. He's fantastic. And he had a game where he had like 20, he had 20 receiving yards and 20 rushing yards. We won by two touchdowns. He's like, I don't care. He's like, we're winning. I have another opportunity. Like we have another opportunity to play next week. Like it is what it is. And then he goes, and I'll be ready when I get my opportunity. I'll be ready for it. Yeah. And then you like we had a playoff game. He had a 74 yard touchdown. He had like 120 yards receiving, a touchdown, player of the game. It's just like we have those guys capable on our team, but we have six of those guys or seven of those guys that are capable. And then it's just it's fun to be a part of a team like that. I don't get the ball every play, and like I don't want the ball every play. I like I like getting the ball. It's fun to catch the ball. It's fun to run it like you like running with a football in open space and not getting hit is one of the coolest things you can possibly do as a human being. Yeah, what did you feel like just driving real fast? Dude, like, I have a smile on my face. I'm just like, this is like, it's because it doesn't happen very often. It's hard to get that open in the NFL because everyone's such good athletes. But when you're just running through the space, man, it Does is- it feel like it's illegal or yes, something? Yes. Like, I feel like I'm a kid who just like, I just stole something. I'm just running as fast <laughs> yeah. as I can. And it's, it's such a, it's such a thrilling feeling. Wide receiver. Think about that for a sec. Why don't you just play tight end, dude? Well, less money. But I was like, I mean, you could apply, probably played another couple of years. Why do y'all get less money? I don't know. Let's figure that out. You, I'll call in and you're going to figure it out. Because you're doing more. Thank you. Travis Kelsey, this mm -hmm. guy, 1,300 yards, 10, 10 touchdowns a year for like the last seven years, basically. But he gets more balls thrown over than you. Sure. But all, my, my point is, is that if he was a wide receiver, his contract, he'd be the 26th highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. Does that make sense? No. No. He should probably be top five. So like that's like, I don't know. He should probably be making, if like there's wide receivers out there making over $25 million. Wow that don't get his stats. So like, why would he not get paid more? Yeah. Right. I mean, like I was, I think I was third in the NFL in touchdowns this year. And yeah, I mean, there's 20 receivers that make more money than me. That's I know unfair. That, and I, I know, yeah. And like, I'm happy for them. I'm, I'm happy right, for right, them that they're making their money. Against them. No, it's nothing against them. It's just like, that's the tight end market. Like our franchise tag is like $10 million, which is like, if a team doesn't like, um, Evan Ingram, tight end for the Jacksonville oh, yeah. Jaguars. He was franchise tag, which means like they don't want to do a new deal yet, but they're going to give you a one year deal, and it's based on the average of like the top couple contracts of your position. So like his was ten million dollars, and then the quarterback franchise tag is thirty million dollars for that one season. And I get the quarterback is the most right. That's the most important position, but like wide receiver franchise tag is I want to say like twenty something. But it's like are they really double the value? No, I don't think so. Especially, yeah, I don't think. No, I don't. Especially think so now when you're getting all these hybrid, you have like Taysom Hill. You have a hybrid player that could possibly do it all. Yeah, sure. Like and like no. Now the thing when you get and you you have to be great at all those things for it to be a value of you in a contract negotiation right. too. Right, that's a good point. Yeah, so you have to be great. Like if you and if you can just if you can just do several things, but you do them averagely. I'd rather have like a guy that does this great and a guy that does this great than having a guy that does it both average. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another, and you can watch this one, you can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.